Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Bland County Survivor Man. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, guys, today on this edition of Bland County Survivor Man, I've got a little bear right here that uh, belongs to the Wolf Creek Indian Village. They've had the thing in the freezer now for probably about eight or nine months. I don't know exactly how long. And uh, my producer now runs the Wolf Creek Indian Village, and uh, she asked me if I'd uh, take this little bear and skin it out for him and tan the skin. And I was going to show you a little bit about it. I've had this bear hanging here now since yesterday morning and uh, since about probably about 11 o'clock yesterday morning and this little fella is still pretty frozen. I guess his coat is really uh, nice and warm so it keeps him either warm or cold. In this case I guess he's freezer burnt cold so he's still really stiff. I've never really skinned one, never really put one in the freezer and, and got it back out to skin it like that and I don't highly recommend that because uh, unless you just can't do it any other way I always skin that animal and put the skin in the freezer because it's going to take a lot longer for the thing to thaw out but anyway this little bear I've got it hanging on a set of scales right here this little bear weighs about 50 pounds uh, he's about a little over 36 inches from tip to tail just a cub bear but he's a pretty little old bear and he's a roadkill and here in Bland County the village uh, uh, can go out and pick these bears up or the state will bring them to them and uh, they have permission to do that. So uh, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to tan this skin for them and uh, we're, they'll probably put it on display at the Wolf Creek Indian Village. So I'll uh, take you through the process here after a while once I get this bear skin out if I can get him skin out. Well, hey there guys. It's about 45 minutes later. This little critter is still frozen on the inside, really hard as a brick. You can see he wasn't a poor old bear after all. Look at all the fat that's on this bear right here. And uh, the way I'm doing this right here is I took a, I took an old putty knife, and I've made an end on it that looks like a butcher knife, but it's dull. And I'm forcing it down in behind the hide of this bear. This bear right here is really hard to skin. I've never skinned a frozen animal before in my life so that's what I did to, to cure the problem of cutting into the skin I just took an old putty knife and turned it into a dull butcher knife that way I don't cut into the skin but like I say this is taking right me now 45 minutes and I'm just to this point right here so this is going to be a pretty uh, peculiar project for sure so I'll get back with you guys later on and let you see what else is going on. Well guys, this old bear was so tough there on the bottom end. Rigor Morris had done set up in him really bad. And uh, the skin was hard to come loose on it, so what I've done was stuck this thing in the rain barrel to see if I can loosen the skin up on it some, because this thing is just terribly hard to skin right down on the front shoulders, right before you get to the head. So I'm gonna poke it in that rain barrel for a little while and see if I can loosen the skin up on it some. Guys, there's what's left of this frozen monkey. You can see the front end of him here was pretty much tore all to pieces. That's made some really bad tears and cuts in this this skin. There's where the whatever ran over him truck or whatever so the head wasn't too bad, but it don't take but one slip of the knife to mess that up. So I'll let you see the hide right. There's the skin. Ain't a very big skin on a 50 pound bear. I just got that thing off. This, this project right here is taking me well over four hours just to get the skin off of this frozen rigamarorous. <laughs> <laughs> rigor bear. So now I got to take this thing outside and flesh it. So that's what I'm going to do next. It's about six hours later. There's what she looks like. The roadkill stuff don't come out real good the way we want it to all the time. You got lots of tears in the skin. But I've already got the thing fleshed. It's a pretty nice little skin. You can see how black the uh, skin looks after you flash it right. You'll, fit, you'll see a, a few streaks of grease on there and that's the way it is with the bear. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put borax 
on this bare skin and help draw some of the grease out of it. Plus, that'll help preserve it before I put the tanning solution on it. Another thing I'm going to do to help degrease it is I'm just going to take rubbing alcohol and I'm going to brush it all over the skin and help dry up some of the grease off the skin before I put my tanning solution on it. So that's what it looks like now. It ain't got no nose. I made a boo-boo there when it was coming off and cut a big gash in the back of it. So, hey, that's, that's what happens when you're working with frozen stuff. But anyway, it's still a pretty nice little old skin. So I'll tell you guys what it looks like or show you guys what it looks like when I get the thing finished tanning. Hey guys, there you have it. I've got a freshly tanned bear skin here. Nice little bitty cub bear. Turned out pretty decent. I do say so. For a 50 pound bear. Skin come out pretty supple. But uh, what I want to tell you was, I didn't use the brains for this skin because the brains had been frozen and uh, that probably destroys the proteins and stuff in it that makes it uh, do a good job uh, tanning the skin. So I used bear grease mixed with uh, one part bear grease, one part glycerin with just a little bit of soap. And uh, I used that as a substitute for this bear skin. And uh, the thing come out pretty nice. So uh, I just wanted you guys to see it. Also, uh, let me apologize for the first part of the video where there's some pretty dark and grainy scenes in it. I usually don't like to do that kind of a, a video, but uh, the outside weather conditions, the wind was really blowing hard that day. So I had to do it in uh, the darkness of that uh, old building of mine. So I do apologize for that. But anyway, check us out there, guys. We're going to uh, show this bear skin off at the Wolf Creek Indian Village uh, at sometime in June if you watch for it. When it gets advertised, uh, I will be there doing a demonstration for my producer, who is now the uh, person who runs the Wolf Creek Indian Village here in Bland County, Virginia. So watch for it, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. And that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.